These instructions address the solutions to clamping errors on the side clamp, top clamp, and outfeed clamp. Before starting, it's important to be looking in the right place for the components discussed. The side clamp holds the board as it enters the saw chamber and its cylinder is behind it. The top clamp is just above the side clamp and its cylinder and regulator are both behind this guard. The outfeed clamp holds the board on the outfeed side of the saw chamber and its cylinder is just behind it. The side and outfeed clamp air regulators are both located in the printer supplies cabinet and should be labeled. Before any maintenance is performed on the blade, Verify that all safety mechanisms are in place and follow your facility's policies for lockout, tagout, and troubleshooting with live power. There are three basic causes for a timeout error. Timing out while clamping, timing out while unclamping, and an unexpected full clamp. Let's check for the simple mechanical solutions first. Once you've properly locked and tagged out the system, clean the sawdust out of the way using compressed air. Then remove the guard surrounding the clamp and its cylinder and blow off the components that were behind the guard. Now that you can see everything, step one is to look around for obstructions such as caked sawdust or wedges that could impede the clamp travel. Step two is to check the shock absorber's position to make sure it provides an adequate amount of cushion. For the top clamp, there are four shock absorbers, two at the top and two at the bottom. It is important they are not only providing cushion, but they are also set evenly with each other. Step three is to check that the jam nut on the cylinder rod is tight against the clevis and is not backed out. For step four, while the saw is still locked out, follow the air lines from the regulator to the clamp, looking for bends or kinks that could limit airflow. The next step requires power, so now is a good time to test the clamp and see if the problem is solved or if you should continue troubleshooting. Remove the lockout tagout devices, ensure personnel are clear, and try operating the saw with lumber. If the error does not appear again, problem solved. If it does, continue with step five. Two people are needed for the rest of the steps. Keep the saw powered up for step five, which is checking the air pressure. The main regulator located on the side of the saw should read 110 PSI anytime it's on. Each clamp has its own secondary regulator. The side clamp gauge should read 30 PSI while clamping. The outfeed clamp's regulator should read 60 PSI when clamping. Lastly, the top clamp regulator should read 30 PSI when clamping. Make sure personnel are clear of the clamps, then close and open the clamps while reading the gauges. Step six is to reset the cylinder sensor locations. From the HMI, make sure the saw blade motor is off. Place the saw in manual mode and clear all errors. Make sure all personnel are clear of the clamps. Remove the guards surrounding the clamp cylinder. Take adequate measures to prevent someone from operating the saw or clamps at this time. Press the clamp status indicator on the blade home screen. This will open the clamp menu. From there, press the appropriate clamp button to open or close the clamp in question. With the clamp in the retracted position, Make the adjustment to the retract sensor until the light located on the sensor comes on. With a clamp in the extended position, adjust the extended sensor until that sensor's light comes on. When aligned properly, a sensor's light should come on when the sensor is fully retracted or unclamped and when it is fully extended or clamped. There is a region or area of the cylinder rod where the light stays on. If the sensor is outside of that region, the light will either go off or not come on at all. Aim for the sensor to be located in the middle or far end of the region where the light stays on. You don't want it at the very front end of that region. The final step is adjusting the speed of the motion. All three clamps have a muffler or meter valve to control the speed at which air is released to allow the clamp to move in the opposite direction. For the top clamp, a muffler is located near the top of the cylinder. Turn the screw counterclockwise to open up the air chamber and increase the speed. If your model has the muffler pointing down, unlike up as shown here, turn the screw clockwise to increase the speed. For the side clamp and outfeed clamp, there are two meter valves for each. To correct an unclamping error, adjust the inline valve. To correct a clamping error, adjust the right angle valve. 
turn the screw counterclockwise to open the air chamber and increase the speed. Increasing the speed may solve your timeout issue, but faster is not always better. Do not back out to a point that it slams open or closed, which will damage the shock absorbers over time. Ensure that all guards and safety devices are in place and personnel are out of the restricted area before operating the saw.